Hi folks, Paul here. I have been working on the design of my 3D printed battery holders. Now, for those who um, don't haven't seen my earlier videos, I am the guy who keeps my batteries in pairs whenever I can. So when I'm harvesting my laptop uh, batteries, I open them up and I cut, if I can, I cut the batteries and keep them as pairs. If I can't, if I am forced to pull them out as singles, and these are actually out of a, an e-bike, they came out as singles, um, then I actually solder together using some nickel strip. So my whole system runs on pairs rather than singles, and the reason for that is it's way easier to solder onto the nickel strap and than onto the battery. Um, there's much le less heat stress. These two batteries, when they come out of the laptop, have been joined their whole lives, so you can sort of think of them as a Siamese twin, as a single unit. So that's quite nice. The downside is that you can't plug these into the standard battery holders that everyone uses. So to solve that problem, and because I had a 3D printer, I designed this battery holder and I print it in black for the negative side and, and red for the positive side. And I have them this size for two reasons. One is I thought that this would be easier to do repairs on something this size. So if I want a large battery pack, I can plug these in parallel and I could conceivably plug another, a third one in, in parallel and so on to build, build up a a huge pack, but if I have a problem with an in, a particular cell goes bad, then I can pull out a, and replace a single from a small pack is a lot easier to do than if I've got 80 or 100 cells in a big single uh, group. Uh, but the other reason is my 3D printer could only print something about that, that big. That's as big as it can do. Funnily enough, I've just ordered a new 3D printer which can do 30 centimeters, uh, about a foot wide. So I'm certainly rethinking maybe doing a double width battery holder perhaps. Anyway, uh, the point of this video is when I designed this I had a roll of nickel strapping which I subsequently discovered was actually nickel coated steel strapping and here it is here it's all rusty so it looks okay when you look at it that way but um, it's rusting up badly so um, that's not nice and also steel is not a, as good a conductor as pure nickel so the current carrying capacity of this is not as good as it would be if I'd actually managed to get pure nickel strapping. So, in an effort to experiment, I did a new design where I left off this bridging piece and that allowed me to use the spiralled copper wire from some mains cable that everyone else is using. And so I experimented with a, a seven of these and that kind of works okay it's a bit it's not nearly as nice as the strapping the strapping's really easy to solder to i quite like the strapping but but it, it's not as generic it's not a, getting this stuff is really easy and it's quite satisfying to make up a nice pure copper conductor so this will probably take about twice as much current as my nickel strapping so, um, that's a step in the right direction, but it does mean that it doesn't sit flat anymore because the, this is a bit fatter. So this is, as a design, it's kind of not perfect. So then what I did was, um, and you probably can't see this, I designed a groove slot in here so that this one here can either use nickel strapping or it can take some of the copper strapping like that and so that is going to be my next seven packs are going to be using this 
Uh, and so we'll see how that pans out. That is where I'm heading. And I, I like the fact that I, I, if I ever manage to buy another roll of actual real nickel strapping, then I can use that on this design. I can use this, which everyone else is doing. So it's a nice, um, I think it's a nice solution. And um, we'll see how it pans out in real life. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, these are available on um, Thingiverse. So you can download the file and if you've got a 3D printer, you can print those yourself quite happily. And I've done some designs for, uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six long. I've done a 9, a 12, and a 14, which is as big as my new 3D printer will, will print. For those who are interested, I've, got, I've ordered a Creality CR10 Mini. The CR10 itself is just too big for my workspace. I can't fit it in, whereas the Mini, uh, which is still pretty big, is going to be pretty awesome, I hope, when, I, when it arrives. Yeah. So, um, they're on Thingiverse, um, and I'll put links in somewhere. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.